Look, look with me at, at verse six and say, say this first part with me, would you? So be truly glad. So be truly glad. Turn to somebody and say, come on, turn that frown around. Come on, turn that frown around. So be truly glad. There is what? Say it with me. Wonderful joy ahead. Come on, we need to encourage each other. Turn to somebody wherever you are and say, better days are coming. Better days are coming. It don't feel like it, but they are. He says, even though you what? Must endure. Come on, turn back to somebody and say, you can make it. You can make it. You can endure many trials. And he says this one more time. Say this with me. What? For for a little while. For a little while. Man, Peter in the early church, they knew something about many trials. When he wrote to them, I mean, they were being persecuted by the Romans. They were being persecuted by their neighbors. They were being persecuted by the Jews, arrested, losing their jobs, losing their families, having to move away from the cities that they were in to unknown places. I mean, it was a difficult time. And I would say we can't compare ourselves to the kind of persecution that the early church went through. But when that word trials comes up, this is, this is 2020, is it not? I mean, we've had to endure through trials. We've got a pandemic. We've got an election going on. We've got racial unrest. I mean, there are trials, and it seems that there is no end. Peter said, hey, it's only going to last a little while. Anybody remember that back in March (laughs) when you thought, oh, yeah, this is just going to be a little while. Like, we're just going to be locked down for, like, a couple weeks. That's it, and back to business as normal. You know, and so two weeks went by, and then we realized, "Uh uh-oh, Anybody, anybody remember when we thought, Easter, we're going to be back at Easter. We're going to have Easter egg hunts. The little girls are going to have their cute little Easter dresses on. We're going to worship together. It's going to be a big celebration when we come back on Easter. And then Easter came and went. And then we thought, oh, it's the, it's the summer. I remember thinking, the summer. I mean, once once things get hot, it's going to burn off that virus. That virus is going to burn away. Summer came, summer went. And now here we are in the fall. <laughs> and, and we're wondering. How much further? How much further with this virus? I mean, how much further with this election? How how much further with with the racial unrest that's taking place? And here's Peter. Listen, Peter is a man who understood persecution. He is a man who was arrested. He was a man who was put on trial. He was put in jail. He was beaten. And yet here he is saying, endure. This is 30 years after Jesus' death and resurrection. And Peter is still after it, still enduring. And he writes this letter to the church and he says this, be truly glad, (laughs) be truly glad. This ain't how people feel about 2020, is it? I mean, I I think most people feel about like like this t-shirt. Look at this t-shirt. This is how most people feel about 2020. It's been nothing but a dumpster fire. And we're just like, hey, 2020, see you, you can go away, can't wait for 2021. Most people are really discouraged and, and frustrated and ready for this to be done. They're, they see no redeeming value in any of this. It's been a complete wash and waste. But Peter, Peter here, he encourages the church and he encourages us as followers of Jesus to look at trials through a different lens and a different perspective. Like when you look at 2020, what do you see? I want you to write this down. Do I see Christ in my crisis? Do I see Christ in my crisis? 